welcome back to the channel. So first of all, first things first, uh, thank you to the Man of Mad Paul and to Colin Hebb from Jurassic Fossils. First two t-shirt orders have been made, so I've done a short batch of these. Uh, now we're coming into summer and it's definitely getting into t-shirt weather, it certainly is today. You will have seen a few months ago, uh, I did a fossil unboxing video and it's one of those. So uh, if you look back, I did a trip to France where we hit the Cretaceous beaches of Cabonet um, and found a few bits in there. Uh, so hopefully some of that material will be back uh, amongst other bits that I've collected over the last month or two. So uh, yeah, um, sit back and let's see what fossils we've got, how they've turned out. Uh, I will try and put some of the snippets in of the finding uh, with the fossils. So thank you for watching. Okay, it's fossil unboxing time. So just pick this up looking pretty well wrapped up uh, so we'll see what is inside I always forget what I've sent off to be fair so there could be all sorts in here and of course I have to do this one handy because I'm using my phone camera it's definitely the best camera I've got really Ought to get a better camera at some point. Okay, we're in, and there's a few. So where shall we start? Um, right, we'll start here. What is this going to be? Is it going to be good, or is it going to be a dud? Ooh, that's a bit of a dud. I think that one. So yeah, that's a bit of uh, Middle Jurassic. Yeah, first one, bit of a dud, no middle, never mind, still quite a rare ammonite, put that there, okay, well can only go upwards from there surely, let's have a look, is it good or is it a dud, ooh that looks better, ooh that's very nice, oh look at that, that is an absolutely lovely little pleurosaurus. That is, oh, that's perfect, fantastic. And it's got a really nice cut base. Oh yeah, I like that, that's a, a really good one. Properly to the center, just how I like my ammonites. Oh yes, it's a lovely uh, little uh, pie crust keel on these pleurosaurus because they are mouthy, mouthy ids from the Amalthius family. And yeah, that is a lovely one. I think given the world, the uh, ribbon density, I think that's a palkicostatum. That's lovely. Oh, hell, that is a nice shelly block. And there is the Pleurosaurus. I could try and split that, but I think I'll take that as is. So it was too tempting not to hit this Pleuro block. And look at that. Perfect little pop, bit of air abrasion. Perfect Pleurosaurus that, lovely, really nicely preserved, so yeah, fantastic. Right, is it a dud or is it good? Oh, oh, oh so I remember this one, so this one, oh yeah, this one is from uh, Folkestone. It's a gold clay ammonite preserved in phosphate. And again, it looks like it's prepped pretty well. There's some of the original colour in there. So that is a, I think it's a hoplites. Might be Denotatus. It's about 103 million years old, this one. So Cretaceous. Yeah, that's very nice. And a, definitely a new one. A bit of rock in there. A new one for my collection. Okay, so just picked up this phosphate module with a nice ammonite in. Does look like it's all there. Don't know if it will prep or not. It does look like it's there, so that's definitely one for the bag to take home. Not bad. That's one. Oh, what will this be? I think this could be a bit of Capricorn, a subzone. Uh, is it good or is it a dud? Oh, look at that. That is a lovely one, that. Wow. Yes. Brilliant little andro Androgynoceros. Slightly skimmed the top of that whirl off, but it's not bad. 
lovely calcite one and that big shell that's come out quite nice that it's a lovely little one that so yeah a bit of capricorn subzone robin hood's bay and these ones these are in the uh pleans back in but kind of in the middle uh below the amalfius Ooh, another one done yeah this one what is this I'm gonna say, is it good or is it a dud? Oh, it's a chalk one. Oh, look at that. That's quite nice. So that was one of the small ones that I collected. Excellent. Quite pale, that actually. So I wonder if it. I um, have to check out with fossils de Cabonet to see what they coat their ammonites with to make them a bit of a darker orange colour. nice I think it's a, a cantoceros I think again Cretaceous chalk ammonite that's quite nice uh, just leave this one off and there is something here for the ammonite I don't know if I've chopped a bit off there but it could be in there so uh, it's a bit flatter than the others so we'll see if, uh, we'll see if it'll come out oh it's turned a little bit nasty Got another one Little one, don't know what species that is. A bit different, and that uh, older there. Right, where shall we go? This one. It's like having your birthday or Christmas. This is a fossil prep receiving day. Oh, another chart one. Now oh, that's a bit of a dud. So that was a. I know what this is. A Schlothermy. Slumbachia variants. And yeah, unfortunately that one has no middle. That's a bit of a shame. I have got quite a few of these though from the Isle of Wight, so I'm not too worried. Um, yeah, never mind. That's a bit of a dud. Still not bad. And still nice to see. Okay, next one. Good or dud? Oh, it's good. Oh, there we go. Oh, I know what this is. So this is a DAC, yay! <laughs> um, but not just any DAC. This is actually a DAC from the Jet Rock. So it's a uh, older DAC um, that you would uh, find in the Falciferum zone. So I'm not actually sure what species this is. And I'm gonna need to look up exactly what species it is. So. Could just be an early commune. Hmm. It's quite quite a rounded venter. So yeah, that's from the Falciferum jet rock, which normally these are in the layer above in the Bifron zone. So yeah, probably just an early dac, but that's quite nice to get. Of some sort. I think probably out in that, but jet rock nodule. Uh, nice to be on the beach. I'll get the hammer out. So, first find of the day then. Out of this jet rock nodule. That's a lovely pyrotized dactyloceros. Uh, yeah, so one of the older ones from the jet rock. Looks quite a nice one, that one as well. So, yeah. I've not got many from the jet rock, not that size anyway, they're normally grass aisles, so yeah, brilliant. Right, this one. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, this feels quite heavy. Dud, oh good. Ooh. Oh. Bit of a dud that one, that's a shame. So that is a acanthropleroceros. And it don't have a middle. Again, still a rare ammonite, but I have got some better examples. Wonder whether that would have been better from this side, but you can never tell. But yeah, that's a bit of a shame that no middle. It's unfortunately got crushed on this side. Oh, the fossils everywhere. Pectins. Got an ammonite though, I think. Don't know how good it'll be. It's all in there. And a Cantroplerosaurus. Next one. Okay, what's this one? 
Mm. So, looking at this, this is a Pseudoliosaurus from Saltwick Bay. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Yeah, and that has turned out very nice. Yeah, that's a, actually a very nice pseudo, is that? Pseudoliosaurus lithens from the Bifrons to Arshan. About 180 million years old. And that, that has turned out very nice. I wasn't so sure this would be that good when I uh, first collected it, but I'm glad I split that at home and saw how good it was. It's a nice one, probably one of my uh, better pseudos, that. Yeah, that's how I like to find them. Uh, a little bit missing any out well. But that's all there. I picked up a few nodules on the way as well. So, yeah, a bit of stuff coming out. Definitely worthwhile coming down. Probably on a par with uh, Sands End, to be fair. I don't think anyone particularly has been round because the uh, tides have been so high up, no one's been able to get round the corner. So, there's a few people on the beach with me, but yeah, picking a few bits up. So, yeah, just keep looking around here, see what we can find. Hopefully, it'll be something nice and not just that. But, you never know. Yeah. So, just walking uh, around the slip. A few nodules already. There's a the deck. Just sat there. In the bag. No, the deck. That's a pseudo. That's a pseudo. Could have a middle. Uh, and then we got some promising nodules to bash. So, okay. Alright, next up. What will this be? Oh, that's quite nice. A little cluster of mid Jurassic. Indeed. Oh, cool. I'm doing quite well with these mid Jurassic Ammonites at the moment. So, yeah, that's very nice. Next one. Oh, there we go. So, I remember this one. So, this is a chalk Ammonite. It's a shame it's not quite there on the top, but that is a uh, Turolites, I think. Etromorph Ammonite from the chalk. Well, must be getting the eye in because that is a Turolites. I didn't know if it was a um, Ariella, but um, Jonas informs me they have dots. Um, along with the hyperturalites, so, so yeah, these are the turalites, heteromorph ammonite. Hopefully, there's a, another whirl going up there. A little spiral. Be lovely. Oh, there we go, there's the big one. Looks like that didn't quite have the middle. The prep is good. Oh. I'm not quite sure about that cut base. Could have done with uh, a little bit more on that side. So yeah, okay, there we go. So not quite a middle on that one, which is a little bit of a shame. But it's not bad. I think actually that might be the better cut base. There we go. Not bad. And I think it should just be more in here. There it is. Oh, that's much spikier. Look at that. Oh. There we go. And again, they don't always have middle Z's to be fair. So that's not bad. I think um, that's the other one. So yeah, quite a difference between these two. This definitely looks slightly spikier. So thanks for watching. Um, yeah, plenty more content to come, so please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're subscribed, you won't miss any of the new episodes coming out. Loads planned this year, some more trips, possibly another trip to France. Uh, and uh, as usual, plenty of Yorkshire Coast uh, fossil hunting, uh, amongst other stuff. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, um, and yeah, see you soon.